Good afternoon from Disney's Animal Kingdom. All kinds of stuff happening here. We got treats for Raya and the Last Dragon. We got special annual pass holder treats and we can get a magnet. All kinds of fun stuff. We might even be able to get a new prize for Jackson from the, the carnival games. I think we're also gonna try to pin trade a little bit. Yeah, should be pretty fun. Yeah, lots of new stuff here. Let's do it. Let's go inside and have some fun. Looks like they have a new photo op over here to the right. This is from Up. I think it was Lion King before, so there it is. You can see Kevin and Doug and Russell, and there's like a little baby Kevin's. I feel like I want to get this just so we can have it as like a keepsake for 2020, right? Well, because it has a mask on. Because they have the masks on, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen any with the mask on. I think this is the first one. Just inside Animal Kingdom, there's a black swan here. Yeah, and he's right there. Wow. That's neat. So this is an area of the park called the Oasis and it's just past the turnstiles. So if I turn, turnstiles are right there. And this is the Oasis and this black swan is in with the spoonbills. Hello, stop looking at me swan. So fun fact, what this animal is doing right now is there are oil ducts right in this area around the chest and they're rubbing it on their bill and distributing the oil around their body to waterproof their feathers. Fun fact, our very first flotilla as we walk in is Mickey and Minnie. And they are going kind of slow. I feel like the boat is going way slower than it has been in the past. There they are. As we were walking in, we were noting that it seemed kind of busy as we were at, like at the turnstiles. But now that we're at the Tree of Life, it doesn't look too bad in here. We'll check on some wait times as we go around. Oh, another thing we have to do is we have to ride the safari because there's a baby rhinoceros. All right, our first stop is the Starbucks, which is known as Creature Comforts here in Animal Kingdom. And they have a picture of what we're getting out front here. This is the Baby Tuck Tuck Moose. Let's roll into Creature Comforts for this five spice moose atop chocolate cake with a chocolate velvet shell and crispy chocolate pearls. So all of the Starbucks inside of Disney parks have fun names. Take for example, this one at Animal Kingdom is Creature Comforts. We made it into Africa and we're gonna try our treat over here on a Dawa bar, but end of the line for Kilimanjaro Safaris is back here by Festival of the Lion King. It's definitely a busy day today. There it is, our baby tuk-tuk moose. The thing that concerns me is it says it's a five spice moose, but it doesn't tell me what spices they are. We will find out. I think it's gonna be maybe like a cinnamony type flavor. Okay. It looks really cool. Yeah, it does. I like the way it looks. I like the, uh, the like rippling. Yeah. So is he, he's kind of like a roly-poly bug? Yeah, pill bug or a roly-poly bug. Oh, is that what they're called? Well, it's the same bug, oh, but okay. people call them pill bugs and people call them roly-polies. That's so much moose on the top. Oh yeah, is that the five spice part? I think so. Wow, that looks pretty good. Also, just as a heads up, it is 83 degrees outside here today. Okay, so I tried to get a bite with everything, with the cake, with the crispy chocolate balls, with the moose. So good, you gotta put your shades on. <laughs> it's so bright out. I feel like it's not super heavily flavored of the five spice. Oh, that's good. I get way more chocolate than anything. Oh, good. The cake is super moist. The the mousse is like really nice and light. And the crispy balls are nice and crispy. So I feel like they did a good job. Yum, I like it. You got a little bit of chocolate on your lips a little bit there. There you go. <laughs> Jackson's over here in the shade eating his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> I get a little bit of the spice, yeah. I don't really like the spice. I, it's not like my favorite flavor, but I yeah. feel like it's it's pretty subtle. It is pretty subtle, but it's still there. But like, isn't the cake so like just nice and moist mm -hmm. and it's it, they, it's made really well. Oh my gosh, here's the end of the Kilimanjaro Safari <coughs> line. Oh, you okay? I got a crispy ball in my throat. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I got a crispy ball in my throat. Okay. Wow, that was... Those crispy balls are no joke. I'm sorry, I like them. I think that's my favorite part of the whole thing. I think that's what you need to do though, is you need to get the little fudgy outside and the crispy balls in a bite. Yeah. Because if you don't, then there's more um, spice flavor. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't taste very much of it because I got everything in my bite. A wasp has joined us. Oh no, our little wasp friend. Uh, so I do think for the size that it is, $5.50 isn't too terrible of a price for like a Disney dessert. I think yeah. this could be split between at least three people. Let's see what Tuk Tuk tastes like. I'm gonna guess he tastes like chocolate. Yeah, that's delicious. I think they should have made this like really on brand and made it with like bugs. What? You know what I mean? Like you know how like you can made make... it out of bugs? Yeah, like with crickets or like with mealworms. You know how they can do that? 
Yeah. That's what they should have done. So it was like really, really. I feel like that's too on the nose, right? Like nobody wants to look at a cute bug and be like, I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you order this again? No. You wouldn't? Okay. No. Well, let's see. We're going to try some more treats today, and we'll see if those would be on our reorder list. Yeah. I did want to point out that the safari is only a 35-minute wait, even though the line is all the way back to Dawa Bar. Yeah, it looks deceiving. Yeah. Um, and then we met Maddie, who was a cast member over at the Dawa Bar area. She told us to check out the Harambe Fruit Market, that they had some cool stuff. And they do that corn on the top. They got grilled corn. Huh. Now, they also have hot dogs. Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, hold on. You want, what? You looked up what Five Spice was. Oh, yeah. I wanted to tell you because we were kind of trying to figure out what this, what the flavoring was for the Five Spice. So it's a, it's a Chinese Five Spice powder and it is, um, it's a, it's like the five traditional Chinese flavor elements. Okay. So it's cinnamon, clove, fennel seed, star anise, and Szechuan peppercorns. Oh, that's strange. That's the five spice. I so, wonder if it's the same five spice though, because no, those things don't seem like they would go in chocolate. I mean, yeah, it, it definitely, I could taste the cinnamon for sure. Yeah. So, I'm, I don't know, I'm interested. What do you guys think? Is it the same five spice? That's a good question. It tasted like it was to me, but I don't know. So now what are we going to do? I don't know. I think oh. we're, we need to get something to eat for sure. Something, something not sweet. Look at all of the strollers over here in stroller parking for, I think this is all for Kilimanjaro. Oh, is it? Yeah, and maybe for some of Gorilla Falls and for Rafiki's Planet Watch, but oh, a lot of strollers. So we don't normally come on the weekends, and it's not exactly a weekend. It is a Friday, but they have opened up Harambe Market because it's such a busy day here. So let's see what they have on the menu here. Got some ribs and chicken bowl, a grilled chicken bowl, a ribs bowl, a hot link bowl, and a Harambe salad. The Simba cupcake too. So we ordered some food from Harambe Market. We got the grilled chicken bowl. This looks uh, pretty okay. It's got grilled chicken, a little salad here, a little salsa, I guess. I had like a teeny tiny little, I put my fork on the end of it to see if it was spicy. It has a little spice. Okay. Yeah. And then some rice. You know how much Tim loves rice. Love rice. <laughs> and then they asked me when I picked it up, they're like, do you want any barbecue sauce or ranch or honey mustard? And I was like, ranch? no. We'll try the barbecue sauce. Yeah, so it. I got barbecue sauce. So I did also want to tell you guys that we had a, um, a little bit of a, like I did something stupid. I put, I was putting sunscreen on Jackson and I put my wedding ring in my pocket of my leggings. And I literally, I've already done this one time. I did this at Universal. I put my wedding ring in my pocket. So I was putting sunscreen on Jackson and then I put my phone in my pocket and then I whipped my phone out to look at something to show to tell you guys about the five spice thing. And my ring fell out of my pocket and fell down a grate. Like down a drain, like a storm drain. Right next to the corn, the grilled corn um, little booth. So we're gonna go and we're gonna fill out like a, a lost and found thing. But I guess this is kind of like a cool thing to show you guys, just in case you ever have something like this happen. Hopefully you don't lose your wedding ring at Disney World, but if you do, or you lose something else of value, you'll kind of know the process of which to go through. Right. Um, to, to, like, to file a report, you know? So, what the heck? I know, I'm sorry. I can't believe I lost my wedding ring today. Right. Like, really? <laughs> Well, if it's any consolation, I got you this chicken bowl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's funny though, it's not funny, but the last time that this happened at Universal, I like ran back to the spot where it happened and we were with a friend and he actually saw it. He's like, oh, here it is. Is this it? So we found my ring the last time, but this time it literally fell down a storm drain. Yeah. We think so, we didn't see it fall down the drain, no, but we I heard did, it. though. Like I, so I pulled my phone out and then I hear this ding, 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 ding. And I thought it was a coin. It was my ring. Yeah. So I didn't even, it didn't even dawn on me to like run after it. Cause I'm like, oh, it's like a penny or something. Right. But it wasn't, it was my wedding ring. Dang. So I think it's gone. Hello, Jen from editing here. So as I'm editing this video, I literally could hear the point when I lost my ring. I could hear the ring fall out of my pocket and like ding, ding, ding on the ground and rolled away. And I even look at it. Cause I, um, like I said, I thought it was a coin. So I just wanted to insert that here. Cause I just thought that was really interesting that I we literally caught it on camera. So you'll see me 
kind of pull my phone out of my pocket and I'll go, oh yeah. And then you can listen for the, the coin noise. And that's it. That's the moment that it happened. So. All right. Wait, wait, hold on. You what? You looked up what Five Spice was. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you because we were kind of trying to figure out what this, what the flavoring was for the Five Spice. Oh, they said no. that that drains into the river. Yeah. <laughs> like where Rivers of Light is. So I don't think. I'm or ever where we saw Mickey and Minnie earlier. Yeah, that river. So I'll probably never get it back. Right. Dang. Happiest place on earth. No, well, no. Speaking of people that are happy. <laughs> He's asleep. He's like shaded. He's got his fan on. Yeah, this is where I'd want to take a nap. It's like being in a hammock. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's eat oh, this chicken. Oh, real quick, I oh, wanted what? to say, so we got this chicken bowl from Harambe Market, mm -hmm. which was super crowded and there was people everywhere. So we came back over here to, I don't, I don't was know it what called Tamu Tamu? I'm not sure. Well, I was right, it's called Tamu Tamu. And we are back in this area back here. This is, very nice and calm and shaded and I, in my opinion one of the coolest temperature wise places in animal kingdom because animal kingdom is the hottest park at walt disney world and we got a table way back here in the corner what was it called tamu tamu oh okay you were right yeah this is really good is it um whatever this like salsa is is pretty spicy i would say this is like a medium spice okay I love this. Nice. Yeah, I like want to eat this whole thing. You know what I saw when I was out there? What? The and pin? also this barbecue sauce is really nice. Oh, good. The pin trading station. Oh, what a pin trade. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to try to be happy for the rest of the video, but I'm pretty sad right now. Oh, no. I know. Dang. Dang. But yeah, let's pin trade. As we were eating, a telecom cast member came over and was showing a bridal group what he called a hidden scar right here. You gotta see his little like beardy right here, his nose right there. Do you see it? His beard. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I thought you said his beard. No, his beardy. Oh. Kinda looks like it. And he said this is a hyena. Yeah, he said this was a hyena. I don't know. But that for sure looks like scar. Yeah, that does look like scar. So another thing that's right near Tamu Tamu is Pin trading. I don't know if we explained this before, how to so do it. We were literally right there. Yeah. So I don't know if we explained how to do pin trading at Disney nowadays. So you choose your own pins to trade and you drop them in a box. And then you point to two pins that you would like from the cast members and they will pull them out and then hand them to you. And you keep the back of your pins. So I brought my pins. Yeah, Tim has his pins today. Yeah. You have some good ones. I'm definitely going to trade this mini one. Okay. And I think I'm going to trade this like puffer fish one. Oh. I just want to keep every pin. Oh, I don't. That's okay. I'll trade them. Hello, Hi. How are you doing? Hello. How are you? Good. All right. I got to kind of bend over because the Absolutely. sun's right in my eyes. Are you guys familiar with how our pin trading works now? Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh. Yeah. He's out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you had too much fun already. Oh, good. All right, let's see what we can find. There's a lot of pins on this board. Yeah. yeah. And we have one in each of our lands. Okay. okay. We were just pin trading at um, Magic Kingdom and their boards are a lot smaller. Yep, ours are pretty much all the same size. Some are a little bit smaller or bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we, we have the most pins. Wow. Okay. Is this Duffy and a Skyliner? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to get that one. <laughs> and then... What's number 32? Number 32. I think it's the Mandalorian symbol. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But. <laughs> huh. It looks Star Wars esque. What's going on? Number 9 is like a weird clown? Okay. Kind of scares me, but I think I'm going to get that one. The weird clown? <laughs> yeah. When you're trading nowadays at Disney, you keep your back of your pin. I think you always kept your back. Did you always keep the back? Yes, yeah. Keep the back thing so that you can put it on your lanyard. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you pop this inside there. And I'm gonna get my, my weird clown. Okay. Put him back. And then I'm gonna trade this puffer fish. So let me see that one up close. From Finding Nemo, or uh, yeah, Finding Nemo. Oh, okay, bye pufferfish. Okay. <laughs> bye, four, oh no. Yep, and our, our pin board in Asia is near Everest. The one in Dinoland is in the Welcome Center. Okay. Um, Discovery, 
Islands near Discovery Trading Company. Okay. Um, and Pandora is kind of near the bathroom area. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Got right, a lot of training to do. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you. All right. Now we are headed into an Anapur to try to get some more Raya and the Last Dragon treats. I think there's an ice cream cone at the ice cream truck. The Saimang apes are out swinging around. Oh, there goes that one. Pretty neat to watch them swing. This is kind of neat. The water's clear enough that we can see there's a turtle right there. Soft shell turtle in between the lily pads. Oh, and you can see some ducks going by too. Wildlife. This is Disney's Animal Kingdom. Yeah, lots of ducks everywhere. Just ducks all over the place. Here we are at the Anandapur ice cream truck. One of my favorite pieces in all of Animal Kingdom because it's so colorful and interestingly decorated. And this is what we're getting right here. The Mighty Mist Soft Serve Ice Cream. Strawberry and Vanilla Soft Serve Ice Cream with blue tinted white chocolate dip, waffle cone rolled in sparkling sugar. Wow. So with the lost and found, like a little update on the wedding ring being lost, we asked guest services and they said there's a website that you go to that's like waltdisneyworld.com slash go slash lost and found. So I went to that website and I entered in all this information and then I was like submit and it's like please give us a detailed information about where you think you lost it and there's no box for that. Yeah, there was It's like no, you're missing <laughs> where this is. There's nowhere to input that information. Right? So we, I think, have to go talk to somebody and hopefully they'll be able to help us. Yeah, we're going to go up to guest services. Yeah, if not, we might have to do it on the computer, which stinks because I'd like to do it while we're here. Yeah. But I understand, like, if they lose it, then they're going to send it off to the, to like the, a, an off-site location. That's how Lost and Found works now. There used to be a physical spot that you would go outside of Magic Kingdom. It's not there anymore. So now it's like a warehouse somewhere off-site and they'll like mail it to you. Mm -hmm. So. Long but story now, short, yeah. this looked a lot better, but it's hot out today, so it melted. Oh no. So like, you can kind of see what it used to look like up here. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I like it. It's yeah. very colorful. It really is. It looks like almost like cotton candy. Yeah. But I think it's strawberry and vanilla. All right, let's taste it. It's mixed. The two flavors are mixed together, yeah. but you can try like one or the other. Yeah. So green is the vanilla. Okay. And the purple color is the strawberry. I think it's pink. Pink? Yeah. Pink. Yeah. I think they may be mixed together to make purple. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it tastes like a, a strawberry cream pop. Okay. Pretty good, actually. I love this. It's pretty hot today. I think we already told you it's what, like 83 degrees or something? Let's see what it is now. Yeah, it's 82 right now. So it's, it's pretty warm for us here today. And this is super nice, super cool, very refreshing. I love the creaminess mixed with the um, strawberry. It's just like a nice light flavor. And I love the cone. Highly recommend trying it. You got blue stuff all over your fingers. Mm. Yeah. Also, we are in the Rivers of Light Theater right now. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a great place to get tables and stuff. You can see Chip and Dale and Goofy just came out right there. And we found like a nice shady spot so this is where you would take the super zoom photo and we've done that before and we'll put a link to the video where we did that in the description down below. It's really cool. And so we're just kind of like down below that area. Jackson's still asleep down there. And in the shade, like surrounded by this rock work, it's very nice. Like it's, oh, yeah. it's cool. Okay, here, you better eat this. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Right. But there are tables over there and I have to show you something about the tables when we go back over there because the seats were nailed down. You couldn't move them. Oh, and so this mighty mist cone was $5.49. Um, after tax, it was $5.85. Yeah, and we did not get a discount. You don't normally get discounts like annual pass discounts or DVC discounts at kiosks. Oh yeah, because that was in the, the ice cream truck. Yeah, the bus. So, the ice cream bus. Cool. Theme park, morning doves hanging out at Rivers of Light Stadium. They said, give me some ice cream. Yeah. So now that we are done with our Raya and the Last Dragon themed ice cream treat, we're gonna head over to Dino Land because there are some more snacks over there. Well, not only are there snacks, but if you go to Chester and Hesto's Dino Treasures and you purchase three game tickets, they give you one of the retired plushes for free. I think it's just for annual pass holders. So this is where we were playing those carnival games in the last few uh, Animal Kingdom videos. And then you still get to play the carnival game. So maybe we'll win a another plush? Yeah, we're gonna try that. But I also wanted to mention, so um, this last pin that you got. This one? Yeah. Did you know that that's not actually a Skyliner pin? I don't know, what is it? It is a Ferris oh. wheel pin from Hong Kong. That's interesting. Yeah, somebody mentioned that. I meant to say that over there and I, I totally forgot to say it, but it's a, a Ferris wheel set from the Hong Kong pins 
Um, and it's one of the like Ferris wheel cars. Oh. Or and capsules. I don't know what you call those. That's so, interesting. So yeah, not a Skyliner. Kind of wow. looks like it though. Kind of looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go head over to Dino. Let's get prehistoric. Yeah. And head over to Dino Land. So this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Is that the benches are screwed to the ground over here. So you cannot move them. I think this is a handicap table or a wheelchair accessible table because there's only one one bench around it, one seat. My favorite thing in all of Animal Kingdom. And one of you guys actually, I said, I would love to have a shirt like this. And one of you guys actually made the shirt. I know, and then we didn't buy the shirt. So if you are the person that made the shirt, because they, they tagged us, Yeah. I think on Twitter, but we don't use Twitter very often. Will you tag us again? Because we'll buy it. Yes. Let us know, please. I love it. Before we head to Dino Land, out in front of Everest is another pin trading location. So we're gonna trade some more pins. Oh, okay, no. you got some good ones. What are you gonna trade? I think that I'm going to trade Eve. Oh no, I have the Wally to go with her. I'm totally gonna trade. Oh yeah, you do. So maybe I won't trade her. I'm gonna trade my chaser. Okay. So somebody else can have it. And then I think I'll start going into my my uh, my Epcot pins. Oh dang. Yeah. Should you not trade those? Why? I only brought eight pins. I gotta trade something. I don't know. I feel like I'm so bad at pin trading because I want to keep everything. Yeah, I'll I trade think I all. would trade the Duffy. Yeah? Okay. Do you I'll love trade, the Duffy? I'll well, trade you... the Duffy and the chaser. If you love the Duffy, keep the Duffy. No, no, it's fine. I'm thinking I might get a puff ball today. Oh yeah, so a lot of you guys let us know that those little furry guys are puffles from Club Penguin. Yeah. So we didn't know what they were. So I think I want to get number 49, Mickey's Pants, and then number 38, the Angry Puffle. So those are the two that I think I'm going to get. This pin board is a little bit far away to see what everything is. So getting rid of your chaser of yeah. goofy skiing. That way somebody else can get it. 49 and 38. And what was, oh, I'm getting rid of the Duffy too. And the Duffy with Goofy's hat. Yeah. And then you got your Angry Puffle and Mickey Pants. Nice. Perfect. So we're heading into Dino Land and we are headed to Chester and Hester's Dinosaur Treasures, which you can go to this and buy the game tickets, but we need to go to a special spot to buy the game tickets to get the retired plush. So this is where we're headed to, Chester and Hester's Dinosaur Treasures, but right outside of it is this dinosaur sculpture and this was actually done by Mr. Imagination. And we have kind of found a few sculptures by Mr. Imagination around town. One at House of Blues, one in Sanford, and now one here. I also wanted to mention that one of you left in the comments that this was a sculpture by Mr. Imagination. So thank you so much for letting us know because we, uh, we didn't realize it. This is so cool. So this gift shop is actually the gift shop that you would have to go through after getting off of Dinosaur. And most of the doors that you'd find around the front side are exit only. So we have to go around the back where you would exit Dinosaur. And I think that this was modeled after like an old roadside gas station or like mechanic shop. You can see there's a barn doors here. So they could open up the whole side of the building. Lots and lots of like tchotchkes all over the place in here. It had to have been cool to work on the decorating crew for this. Like you're just out there just trying to find every dinosaur that you can imagine. Like these little things right here, the little toy dinosaurs over here, little keychains hanging from the rafters over there. Just like any type of dinosaur you can imagine, it's hanging in here. So annual pass holders can come in here and spend $5 for each ticket, buy three tickets and get one of the retired prizes. We got a woolly mammoth. So the interesting thing about the retired ones is that they are not, they don't have the Dino Institute logo. Right. Or, and they don't say anything about Dino Land. They don't say anything about Disney either. Yeah. So the new ones are all Disney themed. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're bringing more out. We could get blue now. Do you want blue? Oh. <laughs> I think we'll stick with green. All right, we'll go with blue. So they told us they were all out of blue and we were lucky enough to see a new shipment coming in from the back, from the storage. And we got a blue woolly mammoth because Jackson's favorite color, I believe, is blue. Uh, he's, it seems like his favorite color is blue. He prefers blue things. So we were able to buy three tickets for $5 a piece. And then we got this for free as an annual pass holder. They're just giving these out with three, purchase of three tickets. Yeah. Um, we actually bought four tickets. <laughs> it was a lie. Yeah. <laughs> we bought four because I want to go play the games mm -hmm. and see if we can win another prize. I think we're going to have to do like a giveaway or something because we have all of them already. Right. But so. we have some small ones. Like mini we have is small. That's true. So I could get a bigger mini hopefully. Right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's go play. Oh, but when Jackson wakes up, he'll have an, a new toy, which yeah. is exciting. Are you ready? All right, do it. Go for it. We have plenty of parking. 
Oh. Ooh. Oh, 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 so close. Last try, last try. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Okay, oh, there's man. one. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Two. Oh. All right. Can, can I get a, a, mi a mini? All right, now we got a like medium or large size mini, which we didn't have before. Oh, yeah. But we also noticed that Jen says we don't have the iguanodon, but I feel like we do. No, we don't. Okay. That's the only one we're missing. We do have the iguanodon because you're, you remember when we were here with Jeff? Because his name is Aladar. Oh, we do. You're right. We have a little one. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, let's go. We're going to play this one because it's the worst odds, and I like those odds. So, I was overhearing there's some people playing ahead of us, but we overheard the cast member telling the rules, and if you have a child whose shoulders are below the counter level, they can sit on the countertop crisscross applesauce with an adult behind them. All right, all you got to do here is land on a planet of color. Any color will do. However, oh, I did it. I'm ready. <laughs> but if they land in any of the black holes, they're gone forever. Okay. So, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Worst odds in all of the games, and I love it. Oh. That was that was pretty magical. Yeah, well, yeah. So I like to aim where there's like a collection of colors together, but also white's the best. So oh, I try yeah. to like aim for the white one. Dang, that wasn't good. All right, this is my favorite area over here. Darn. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Drat. Next time. Oh well. I did want to say that the annual pass holder offerings are only on Monday through Friday until 4 p.m. So we've got another hour until that ends. So we got to find our magnet and so on. I don't know where the magnet. Oh, the magnet's right here. All right, let's do it. So here's what the annual pass holder magnet looks like. This actually looks like a, a flower and garden magnet because you can see Spike the Bee on there and Donald with his hat. And you do this over here at the Boneyard. But they're doing things a little bit differently now where each individual pass holder has to go up and talk to the cast member on their own. So Jen and I had to go up individually to a different cast member, show them our ID and show them our annual pass on our phone or the card. Then we had to tap our magic band. So a few more extra steps than they had in years past. So over here at Dino Bites next to Restaurantosaurus and right sort of around the corner from the Boneyard, they have a Baby Tuck Tuck ice cream sundae and an annual pass holder sugar cookie. So we are pretty much snacked out, but over here at Dino Bite Snacks, they have another Raya and the Last Dragon Baby Tuck Tuck Ice Cream Sundae. A yummy sundae built for speed. Chai spice caramel cake, chai caramel sauce, vanilla ice cream, green tea cake crumbles, salted caramel crispy pearls, and edible image of Baby Tuck Tuck. Wow, sounds interesting. I don't know why everything's like spiced. Does that have anything to do with the movie? or that's just what they went with. Also available at Dino Bite Snacks is an annual pass holder cookie that's just a sugar cookie with what looks like the Donald Duck pass holder magnet on it in the form of a white chocolate medallion. What did we get you, buddy? You awake? You listening to some reggae? He woke up, he cried, and then he started dancing. As soon as he heard the music. That's a big bird. So as we were heading out, we stopped off at these bathrooms which are just outside of Discovery Trading Company right across from Flame Tree Barbecue in this little coffee stand over here. One thing I wanted to point out is there is a companion bathroom over here, but there's no changing table in it, which I thought was very strange. So it's like a handicapped bathroom that's just a little bit bigger that, you know, is all genders, but still, I thought there would be a changing table in there and there is not. Usually there is at, at Disney parks. But something that I noticed is right across the way over here at this coffee stand, there's a sign out front that says that the baby Tuk Tuk Moose is available here at Isle of Java. So you do not have to go to the Starbucks location to get it. You can get it here. Also, you can get still get the gingerbread latte. Interesting, these are still peppermint hot cocoa. This is still stuff left over from Christmas time. And you can get what they're calling the rotten apple. Angry Orchard crisp apple hard cider with fireball. 
Ooh, and gummy worms. So over here on the Discovery Island stage, there is a sand sculpture for Raya and the Last Dragon. I wanna see this movie because I wanna know who these characters are. Here's Tuk Tuk over here, not baby Tuk Tuk, but large boy Tuk Tuk. This is the Last Dragon. And I believe over here we've got Raya. This is neat, all of the detail that is in it. You can see her sword, everything. I wish I knew how to do this. I was gonna say, how do you think they keep it together? Like, I know it's made of sand, but do you think there's some kind of like glue agent in there? Probably, I bet you they use water to like sculpt it, and then when they're done, they spray it with something maybe. Oh, uh, okay. Some sort of like setting agent. It looks great though. Yeah, it's awesome. I wish I had some sort of artistic ability. I can't even draw. <laughs> oh, look at, you can see Tuk Tuk's little antennae are sticking up too. That's impressive to me that those are standing up tall. And do you think they built it here on the stage? They did, yeah. Oh, okay. They're also playing some inspirational music over here. I don't know if this is music from the movie, but it sounds real inspirational and epic. Okay, um, so I before we leave, we're going to try to go inside the Discovery Training Company and see if we can find, they have special annual pass holder Mickey ears. See if we can find them. They have a display with the new emos, and they are going to be having Kermit and Miss Piggy new emos, but I haven't seen them in the parks yet. Soon we will, I'm sure. So right now it looks like we got Mickey, Minnie, Stitch, Angel, Daisy, Donald, Mickey, and Minnie. Yeah, that's all that I'm seeing in this store in particular. And then we're gonna get Miss Piggy and Kermit. Yeah. Oh wow. I would like to get a Goofy. When Goofy comes out, let me know, cause I'm gonna get a Goofy. Oh. and dress him up like Woody from Toy Story. And this is supposed to be Bo Peep? Yeah. Oh, that's a cute idea. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I like that dress. Looks like the dress from Clueless. Oh, this is fun. It's like uh, Tangled. Oh, yeah. Like Rapunzel. Super fun. These oh, so this is the Ahsoka Tano one. Which one? Oh, right cool. There. Okay. I didn't know that they were doing that. And that one was designed by Ashley Eckstein. Oh, was it? Yeah. These are, I do think these are really cute. I think I could get into a lot of trouble with these though. Oh yeah. Like you just spend way too much money. All right, we're gonna see if we can find these Disney native shoes oh. in my size. Oh geez. oh, geez. Okay. So this is your size. Okay. So a lot of you were asking us to do a review on the Disney and native collection here. Um, and so we wanted to try them and see if A, they fit and how comfortable they would be if they're worth the price because they are $55. So Tim tried them on, he is an 11 and a half. So 11 and a half in, these are my um, Ultra Boost. And so I tried on the 11s. And we asked you're allowed to try them on as long as you have socks. And these are very narrow across my foot. And they don't make an 11 and a half. They're only in whole sizes. Right, and the 12 was about this much longer than my toes, I don't know. It was very tight, like it was the correct length of shoe in a size 11, but the, the, it was very narrow and, and are, uncomfortable. And they won't give because they're made of plastic. Right. So um, I don't know if we're going to actually buy these. Right. But. Because I feel like I would never wear them because they would hurt my feet. Right, yeah. And it wouldn't be worth the price if you're not going to wear them. I think that if you have really skinny feet, mm -hmm. they would probably be super comfortable because they're very soft. So I'm a nine. These fit great, but they're not super comfortable because they are hard. Like the sole is hard. And you are wearing socks. You're just wearing no-show socks. Oh yeah, yeah, I have socks on. But they they have little massagey like nubbies inside. I but they're see them well, in there may be more stuff there tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see myself wearing these to the parks. Right, I don't think because they're not super comfortable. I think you should wear them around the pool, maybe. Yeah, they're like but water shoes. I wouldn't wear them all the time. But you can get cheaper water shoes at like Target. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I would probably just buy Crocs. They're pretty fun. Like yeah. they look fun. They're but I. Not, they're not for me. Yeah. So we stopped by guest services because we couldn't figure out how to do the Lost and Found website. Yeah. And shout out to Ashlyn. She found my ring. She found it. <laughs> she scoured over by Harambe Market. I can't believe she found it. We looked and everywhere. She found it. Like, I'm just really happy. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So Ashlyn, thank you so much. Yeah. I can't believe it. Like, I really didn't think we were ever going to see it again. Yeah. <laughs> So there you have it. That was our trip to Animal Kingdom. A very fantastic ending to the day. I cannot believe she found the ring. Yeah. I'm like, I'm so happy. Like, I I just can't believe that actually. I can't believe it. That <laughs> can't was even, amazing. I really, she said she found another wedding ring 10 years ago. Right. For somebody that she was able to, to track them down and get them their ring back. So um, she's amazing. Yeah. That was awesome. Ashlyn, 
is a rock star. Right? <laughs> uh, all of the treats were delicious. We didn't get to ride Kilimanjaro Safaris today to see the new baby rhino because it happened when Jackson was asleep. But he had a really great nap. He was asleep for like almost two and a half hours. He was asleep for two hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, he did great. So, but because he was asleep, we couldn't take him out of the stroller and go on the ride. Right. But we're gonna come back and we're gonna come see the baby rhino with the baby buddy soon. Yeah. But all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we were off. <laughs> it was an amazing day. Yeah. We found my wedding ring. Well, we didn't. Ashlyn found my wedding ring. So with that being yeah. said, we are off and we'll see y'all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>